<laughs> it's just my new thing. Okay. I hope y'all ready. I don't know what you guys have to be ready for, but are you ready? I baked yesterday. Random input here. I baked. I baked. Yes, I did. I did that too. Oh man. I baked a banana bread yeah healthy banana bread and i fixed my nail a whole lot of housewife things happened what's happening to me but i have my banana bread <laughs> why Am I showing you guys my banana bread? I don't know. <laughs> because it's good. Mm -hmm. Alright, hiddly hardly hoodly about about it. Hello people. I don't know how many times I want to say hello to you guys. This is the last time. Probably the last time you guys are going to see this background. Mm-hmm. Because I bought something new for the background. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> And I decided that I want to do declutter videos because I have a lot of ishi ah, that I need to get rid of. You know, just this entire thing. You know, on top of this thing, there is a lot of things that got that, that got that could you know get looked through. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope I can do it today because I do have a shoot tomorrow, and then. On the 2nd of October. Oh my god, we are soon in October, people! <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> I promise there's nothing strange in that banana cake. <clears throat> but on the 2nd of October, I can't take myself serious, I don't know why. On the 2nd of October, Amanda is coming. Yes. So there will be vlogs. Also, the declutter videos will probably be on my vlog channel. Yes. But I'm excited that things are going to change behind us. But it's still, you know, a shelf thing so that I can put things on. But I don't have as much space as I have with this one. But, you know, sometimes we need to sacrifice things. To get new things, you know. In our day-to-day -day life. Some of you guys might be like, hey, you have been recording for seven minutes. Or oh, I don't know how many long time I've been recording. We still don't know what this video is about. <laughs> By the time you probably know what this video is about. Because this is a daily reading, a daily message. That's what I want to do. That's what we are going to do before I do other things today, like decluttering. So if you guys like decluttering videos, or me looking through boxes where I don't know what's in them, then you have to jump over, jump over to my vlog channel. <sighs> yeah, I wanted to show you guys Moon, but... Um, Moon took a little nap nap and now Moon is outside again, so yeah, Moon is just here when I'm here. But should we take a energy card to see what the hell is going on? What is going on people? Have faith, 22. This is calling for you to have faith. Believing in the unseen. Believing that you have the power to change your circumstances. A lot of things are happening right now. I mean, if you saw the, the Mercury retrograde video, you know. You know. I do want to have a candle. And now that we are in October soon, there's a lot of things that will happen. I will do a lot of spooky 
videos. Hopefully me and uh, Kiri or you know, probably, of course, me and Kiri will hang out and carve pumpkins. Maybe me and Kiri should do a live, a Halloween live. Yeah. We actually did that last year, I think, where we did makeup. Yeah. I just have to figure out what time because, you know, I am in Denmark and most of you guys are in... Oop, vibration in my foot. You're not in my foot. No. <laughs> Australia or... Germ well, Germany, that's not a problem because it's the same time zone, but... Um, USA! UK shouldn't be that bad either. Ooh, we have the clover and the rider. So a message is coming your way. A message is coming your way. A message of luck. And you need to have faith that this message will arrive, no matter what this is. Maybe this is a message from the universe. Maybe this is a message from a lover. Oh, uh, oh my God. One, two. Just pay attention to that. Maybe it's like a message of luck. A message that... A message of uh, congratulations. Like a, you getting a new job. Or you're getting a raise. Or winning something. Yeah. But obviously this can also be... Like I said, from a person, but it is a positive message. Okay. Yeah. Luck will follow. I like that. God knows we need it. But you do. You do need to have faith. Believe in this. I will take the book and see what it says. Actually, if there's anything interesting. Temptation. Ooh. Maybe some of you guys really have someone who's like trying to reach you. It can obviously also be like a message from beyond. Like a message from your spirit guides, or a message from your soul or twin male. It's twin male. Well, maybe it's a male. A twin flames. Higher self. Hmm. You never know, people. Faith requires you to believe in something that is not yet evident, evident to the naked eye. That's what it's all about. And I know sometimes that can be... Uh, like, I, I think that because that... We are so deep in this like social media, like we are watching everything, we are seeing everything. Um, that we sometimes have a mind of we need to see it before that we can believe it. But that's not how it works in the 5D. Maybe some of you guys, you know, have been going through a rough time, ending something, life changing, I heard. And you still, and you are still in this energy of focusing on what you can see, what you have lost, but you don't see what you actually gained from that. It doesn't have to be something that happened recently. This can be something that happened long time ago, two years ago, three years ago, one year ago. But well, let's see what else we can get for you for today. What is the message for today? Maybe it was someone who was cheating or it's you rushing into something that you can see but the universe is like, don't take the obvious road. It's interesting because you got that in another reading with don't walk the crowded road or something like that. Take the least, what was it, the less walked path if any of you guys can remember what it was, make a comment so that people can see it if people haven't seen it. Because there's something about walking 
the less walk path or the less crowded path. Don't take the crowded path. I did hear someone say don't jump to conclusions. This will make card, but obviously this can also be linked together with something from the past. Past belief systems. The way that you did things in the past. Yeah, nine of swords. It makes sense that you might be a little bit in your mind. Obviously, um, it might be because of a air sign or water sign who planted something in your brain that still keeps you up at night. Let's see what we can get for someone coming into your life. Whoa. It's definitely something that is fated. Fated. We have a lot of cards here. Could be a Aquarius, but this could, could also be... Um, I did hear someone say that it might be someone who's still going through healing. Maybe even releasing something from the past. I do feel that the Mercury retrograde that we have, I have done a video about that, I will link it up here if you haven't seen it, will swift this change along. But you are also going to feel this change. It's about Removing insecurities, trusting in yourself, have faith. Yeah, makes sense. Have faith. Because right now you might trap yourself because of the past. It might even be someone who is letting go of an earth sign. Obviously, the roles can be switched here, so it can also be that. I didn't do that on purpose because normally when a candle dies, then it's an ending of something. Well, it fits well with what I'm about to say. Because I want to say that it might be someone who's... Um, did I just say that? Did I say that before? Leaving a sign. Did I already say that? Oh, I'm confused. Or someone who's battling addictions. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Didn't we already get this card? We did, didn't we? The Ten of Swords, yeah, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. Making a decision for the new, making a new start. There has to be a new start for both of you. Yeah, this is Fate. It makes sense why the Fate card is here. This is Destiny. Also, being better at handling money, being better at trusting yourself with money I heard I don't know why trusting yourself with money maybe this is also the other person <sighs> yeah healing father issues or feel or healing something with a person that might have been too controlling and trying to figure out what else I can take as a little last card I mean, we do have these that we haven't used in some days. Let's see what the guidance is. But there is a need here to make a decision to close down for the past because it's still trapping you, but also the other person. If it's not about love, obviously this can be insecurities in you Pursuring, <coughs> going after your dreams and desires, not trusting yourself, falling back to the old belief system about like, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not ready. I can't do it because I need this and that. You can do it. You just have to find the resources that you have here and now. And the universe will always provide you. Maybe that's why you need to have faith. Let's see what is the guidance for, for you 
Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, people. Oh. The clover. You have the clover two times. Release your guilt. Maybe you are. Um, obviously, this can be. I don't know. I heard battle. This can be a battle or a fight between you and old friend. You're going to settle it. You're going to be like, okay. We're burning away the past. Whatever happened doesn't matter anymore. Again, don't hold grudges because it turns to sickness. We have to stay together during this time. Two to one. One. That's so interesting, right? I love this picture. Maybe it's about a mother or a father or someone you need to forgive. This can also be the other partner, the other person who needs to go through this. Release your guilt. Maybe it's the guilt about yourself, like that you never forgot someone of... Uh, forgot, that's not what I wanted to say, but maybe that's a message for someone. That, but that you'd never forgive, forgive someone. Oh my god, this is so adorable. I absolutely love this picture. For some of you guys, I do feel this has something to do with a mother. Forgive your mother for maybe not being there for you as much as you need it. Forgive her. Doesn't matter what happened in the past. It's like the fire. Whatever is burning, if the fire is big enough, you can't... Pull it out, that's not what I want to say. You can't control it by yourself. And also, it's also symbolic for that anger can feed the fire. You know, save save the memories. With, oh, it makes sense with this because this is a memory card. Save the memories. Just remember the good memories. Releasing the past. I do feel that that's something that both of you do if this is also about love. Then we have potion. Oh, potion. Yeah. Remember to practice self-love. Yes, very, very important. No matter, no matter if you feel like you need to lose weight or if you feel like you are not, a, or if you feel like you don't have long enough hair or, you know, you need this or you need that. It's all something you need to wipe away. Whatever you have, whatever you, however you look, that is perfect, absolutely perfect. You can see, it's actually symbolic, you can see there's no pictures, because this is for you to put new pictures in. Practice your witchiness. I know a lot of you guys are witchy. You are witches, warlocks, <laughs> beyody people. Beauty dancers. Yeah, saying that when this comes, I don't know why the little thing that's like, you know, following, um, interesting, following the face was following just my mouth. So maybe this is about singing for some of you guys. About speaking, public speaking. Look at her. Look at this snack. Being free and uh, powerful. I absolutely love the imagery in this deck. Because this is perfection. This is perfection, people. Feeling yourself, going out there, no matter what size you are. Who cares? You are a snack. You have to realize that. Damn, bring peace into it. Mirror, treat your body like the palace it is. Yes! <laughs> Amen! Let's get a little dingy for that. I need a bell or I need like something I can, you know. Ding, ding, ding. I love this. Look at your reflection because you're, I don't think that you see what other people see. Yeah. We sometimes forget that other people see us in a completely different light. Yeah. 
I feel like this is going to be it for this video. I could keep talking because it's uh, cozy to talk with you guys. I love it. But I will probably do more videos. And I am also going to declutter and remove everything so that we can find out what we need to do here. But thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel. I really do want to take the time to, again, thank you all. I am mind blown about how fast this channel is growing. I'm mind blown about the support that I get from all my lovely people. I know you guys who always comment on my videos. You are all very, very much appreciated. Appreciated. Appreciated and appreciated. But I hope that this could bring you guys some peace. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of blocks, all information is down below. It helps me out so much that you guys book private readings with me because that means that I can keep doing and creating magic for you guys. So thank you guys so much. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.